This is a, a spy camera. It looks just like a USB charger, apparently. I've got a bunch of different USB chargers. It'd be fun to compare them. Um, so that's my VLC player. This is the date and time. So it's uh, 100. So the time's not set on it. I have to look and how to do that. Again, this was me doing the show off to the side. Yes, that's COVID weight gain, by the way. Um, I'm glad it's a front shot normally. But this was the only outlet that I had was at the right level. So we're looking at, at the live footage. This was actually just a little bit earlier when we were testing the floodlight camera. There's no audio with it, but this is from the USB spy camera in this USB charger. That's really decent footage. Apparently, you can see I have a lot of arm hair in this footage. Um, you can read the text, you know, on some of these things. I just made it go full screen there. So you can read the text on some of those boxes that I have back there. I'm impressed. Now, it says right on the box, just don't get me in trouble in Washington State, right there it is, no audio recording. Okay, that's good, uh, because if you're going to use this, maybe you've got some trust issues with kids, again, has to be in public spaces, I would say, um, you know, audio recording in some states is illegal, no matter what, without two-party consent, so we're going to open this thing up, I'm going to show you what it comes with, and then we're going to show you where it's at in this room. But here's a uh, cable, a double-ended USB cable, so you can, looks like, plug the device in directly that way. This is another, an Apple cable, so they're giving you a bunch of really cool cables. So this is an Apple charging cable, it looks like, uh, but it looks like it also has your micro USB. So check that out, you're getting a lightning plus a micro USB. They're not done yet. And these are just the, the extras that come with it. Um, you're going to get a micro to USB-A adapter so that you can plug the memory card in that you get to be able to view the footage and comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter. So let's say your computer is a MacBook. You can pull this out, slide this in, let me get this apart, and now you can read the micro SDs right off of USB-C. So they've included pretty much every adapter I could want. Uh, now, nice little customer service message here, again, from this company, uh, Divine Eagle that makes this. Now there is the Divine Eagle user manual. It's got English, bunch of information, QR code. Um, let's take a look real close if you guys can see it, just how this thing is constructed. So it looks just like an Apple charger. If they could make it in white, it would be even probably better to fool people but it has still in this kit as I come down here 10 of these stickers and now these stickers are what totally is awesome power adapter model blah -de blah -de blah well why would you need this well the uh, easiest thing for somebody to do if they're curious it's right over here by the way it's been plugged in the whole time this is the just outside cover that was on it this is the entire thing right here in the back side is where the memory card and the continuous or motion tracking go. They give you 10 of these because if you need to reopen this, you can put this sticker over this and nobody would be the wiser. I, looking at this, would think that was just maybe a status light because it's got a little tiny dot for a status light. I would think that was maybe a status light that was burnt out. <laughs> So that's going to be kind of crazy. It stores its uh, data to micro SD card, which I'm kind of excited about. There is no Wi-Fi access to it. There's no Bluetooth accessibility to it. So it is completely an offline camera, but you can plug that right into your PC and take a look at it. Now I had it on continuous mode, so I'm kind of excited to see what the footage is on this SD card. And we're going to try to use their adapter with my PC. And we're going to take a look at that real quick. Uh, again, from Divine Eagle. Looks like it's 650 megabytes for every five minutes of video. So that's so oh, 20 something uh, megabit, I think. So I think it's a couple megabytes a second. So yeah, about, let's call it two and a little, two and a little megabytes a second of video. So if you got a 32 gig, you can figure it out. I think I use six gigs in a little over an hour. Um, again, I'll pull that, that video back up. So that was the continuous record mode. So if you're not looking for motion, now, if you just have it in an area where you need motion captured video, again, surveillance uh, through obscurity here. Let me show you on the side camera how diminutively small this thing is. This, if you had it in a box, looks like every one of the other chargers that I have. 
Now, somebody could see the back and go, oh my gosh, that's got an SD and a reset and an LM. So M is going to be your motion toggle and L is going to be right there. So L is going to be your uh, looped video and M is going to be your motion based video. So really, really slick already. Let me show you what they were talking about with this power adapter model sticker. So they include these stickers with the kit. I'm gonna try to get it to focus on the stickers. There we go. So you got 10 of these, or did I miscount? No, 10, because I've got one. Uh, looks like nine, because I've taken one off here. Um, and you can take that, and once you put your memory card back in, and I'm not gonna do that yet, but you can take that and cover that up, and now nobody is the wiser. Okay, so I'm, I'm really interested in this one. I think I could go put this somewhere and uh, probably be recording and nobody be the wiser. Now, another trick about this, and I have to point this out, is it is an actual charger. So if you're putting this somewhere and somebody goes, oh, this thing sucks, it doesn't work, and they toss it out, you're done, right? Well, this thing, if I plug it in again, it's not gonna be able to record because I don't have a recording in there. I'm gonna plug it in. So there's the show iPhone. We're looking in the upper right corner and I'm gonna plug it in iPhones are notoriously picky for their power, and there it is, it's charging. So 39% and we're, we've got the charge indicator. So not only is this a security camera, but it's an active charger, so it's actually charging. You can see I don't charge the show iPhone as much as I should. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's charging right now uh, and keeping the show iPhone going. So that is from Divine Eagle. Another trick here, guys. So instead of doing what I did and pulling the memory card out, that's what your double-ended USB cable is for. These guys have thought about it all. You take your computer and you plug the USB-A side into your computer and you plug it into the unit. Now, I don't think it has to be plugged in. I'm guessing it gets power. And you can just literally read from the thing and read it just like a memory card reader. So they've included a ton of connectivity options here but the ability to hook your laptop directly to the unit is gonna save you some power, so, um, and a bunch of these stickers, but I love that idea. The fact is, you're getting a USB-C end on this, you're getting a uh, lightning connector end, and you're getting a micro. There's the whole unit. You would be hard pressed to know that that was anything but a charging brick right there. Um, this was the other device that it came with. This is a USB-A to lightning connector. And if I pull this down, this is just an adapter on top of a micro USB. So you've got both your micro USB for your Android standard and you have your lightning, which I hope someday they get to USB-C, but you've got your cable that's for iPhone as well. So uh, tons of cables in this thing that it comes with. You do come with a micro SD reader and adapter. Yeah, another interesting cool product here. I will do a little bit more on this one. It is very unique. I'll give it that.